this is a research institute of about 180 people. And so we are conducting research at the interface between um, bioengineering and nanotechnology. Bioengineering is about uh, developing new materials and devices that can um, help us better diagnose diseases and also treat diseases. My father was uh, a professor at the old Nanyang University, Nanda, and so my family was here um, for about seven and eight years. So I basically grew up in Singapore. And in school, I like various subjects, including science, but it's not until I went to the States when I was in high school that I become really interested in, in science, and in particular in chemistry. I always tell people that I'm a minority in many ways, because um, in engineering, there are very few women. Okay, and besides that, I'm Asian. I'm also very young when I started my career. I became a professor at MIT when I was about 35, 36. So that made me triple minority. And uh, I think as a minority, you have to work a lot harder. There's no question in that to, to prove yourself. And this means um, putting 75, 80 hours a week. I've been doing that since I was 21 years old. So as a, as a uh, student uh, doing research, I put in a lot of time and effort. And uh, most of the time I was in the lab, and this includes uh, also on the weekend. Yeah. So it's just, um, I would say, a lot of hard work and um, a lot of um, planning. You have to be organized in terms of understanding what you need to do to get to where you want to be. The biggest challenge um, for the women today is to um, break the glass ceiling. Women can do very well, work very hard, get to a certain level, but cannot break through beyond that level. Okay? And also, society has a lot of expectation of the women have to juggle the job and also the family and raising the kids. So there's a tremendous demand. So women actually always have the ability to organize themselves very well. They also tend to have a good vision of what is, what is it that they want to do, what is it that they want to achieve from their career, what is it that they want to do with their children, how they want to raise them. These are really their strength. And women also have tremendous tenacity. Okay, they will just simply persevere and keep moving. If you look at our community, the people who have actually put in a lot of time and effort to do what they do, and many of them might not have been really properly recognized for what they do and they remain very humble people. And that is another very special, I think, characteristic of the women in our community. Women are special because they are not only talented, but they are also intuitive. Okay, so they look at problems in many different angles and they try to put themselves into another person's shoes. And because of that, I think people have very good working relationship when a woman is in charge and the society is a very harmonious 